What? Hmm. Come on, man.
Okay. Yep, yep. your thoughts. Right. What do you want to do? A chest. What do you want to do, Joker? I have something. For real? Oh. 
Hey! So, you're Sumire Yoshizawa, huh? I'm Dr. Maruki. I'll be your counselor. First of all, thank you for coming to see me. Yes. Thank you for seeing me. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to discuss. I only came here today because my parents wanted me to. That's fine. So, do you want to just chat until our time's up then? Chat, huh? Of course. It's not really possible for us to talk about things you don't want to discuss anyway. I've also got some sweets and some salty snacks there. Feel free to have at them. Oh yes, thank you so much. So, let's start with, uh... Ah! How about... What'd you eat for lunch yesterday? <clears throat> I'll go first. The other day, a friend of mine gave me a ton of apples. I've grown tired of just eating them by themselves. Yesterday, I thought, why not try using them as a meal ingredient? So, I tried making an apple dish for lunch, but that didn't turn out too hot. What do you think I ended up making? I have no clue. Shrimp and chili sauce. With apples. You know how sweet and sour pork can have pineapple in it? I was going for that, but... Sounds like it didn't work for you. Apples do make for good ingredients, though. If you grate them, you can make a surprisingly versatile sauce. I use it in plenty of my food. It's pretty nutritious and good for digestion. You cook, Yoshizawa-san? I'm impressed that you care so much about nutrition. You must be really on top of things. <sighs> I'm just active, that's all. I'm a gymnast. My coach has told me more than once to be conscious of everything I eat. I see. How's practice going for you? Has it been rough lately? It has been rough. I mean, it's nothing I can't handle, but it's not going well. I don't even know what I want to do anymore. Sorry to hear it. Do you enjoy gymnastics? I'm not even sure of that. My older sister and I made a promise. We both compete and win the biggest gymnastics awards in the world, but... She passed away. She protected me from a car. I stole Kasumi's dream away from her. I can't do it anymore. I can't just go on like this. If Kasumi were here instead, I know she'd make her dream come true. Only Kasumi could have done it. No matter how long I try to compete, it's not going to change anything. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize in here. If there's something you need to get off your chest, please do so. Sometimes... I can't help but think things would have been better if I were Kasumi Yoshizawa. After all, just wishing to make her dream come true does nothing for her in reality. Making dreams come true, huh? Well, I don't think your train of thought is strange at all, Yoshizawa-san. 
In fact, wanting to become somebody else isn't necessarily an entirely bad thing. You... you think so? Everyone is capable of changing themselves. Your imagination's your only limit. That's why, if you aspire to be more like another person, it's actually possible. Thought exercises like, would that person do this? Or realizations like, that person wouldn't do that. These sorts of thoughts can lead people to change themselves in ways that more closely mirror the target person. <sighs> can you still imagine what your sister was like? Yes. If your sister were in your shoes, what do you think she'd do? Well... She wouldn't cry. If she had the time to do that, she'd just practice more instead. Dr. Maruki, I... I want to become Kasumi. I know. And I'm sure you can too. Just... believe in yourself. <sighs> How about it? Are you feeling any better now? Yes. I feel like a weight's been lifted off of me. You're amazing, Doctor. <laughs> it's no big deal. Still, it seems like my counseling approach does some good after all. Alright. I'm not sure how to put it, but... I feel like I've been reborn all over again. Really? I'm very glad to hear it. Feel free to drop by again sometime, should anything come up. We can even just have a chat, like today. Thank you. Then we could pick up where we left off talking about... Hmm. Something the matter? Now that I think about it, I'm not any good at cooking. I don't know why I said those things earlier. My younger sister's the one who was really great at it. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. Kasumi Yoshizawa. Yes? What is it? Oh, nothing. I'm so glad I was able to help you. Good luck with your training. Right. I'll do my best. For Sumire's sake and mine. Was that...? Yes. It was a counseling session I had with Dr. Maruki. It was just after Kasumi... After my sister passed away. From that moment on, I lived my life really believing I was Kasumi. It was all due to the rewriting of your cognition. His actualization, as we've started calling it. Okay, but I've been wondering something. So, it was only Sumire who believed that she was Kasumi, right? I assumed someone in your family or one of your friends would have noticed you going by the wrong name right away. Well, I can certainly remember being called Kasumi by everyone else, too. It might be more accurate to say you misheard or misunderstood the name you were being called. Like everyone kept calling you Sumire, but your cognition made you hear it as Kasumi. So that's why nobody thought it was weird, including her folks and herself. Damn. This must be part of the whole salvation nonsense Maruki's trying to pull over on us. That memory may have been kept here in video form because he truly does wish for Violet to be happy with life. I admit, I really did feel saved in that moment when I became Kasumi, but at the same time, I ran from my life as Sumire. I'm genuinely grateful for what Dr. Maruki did for me, but I'm done running. Let's get going. Huh? What? Joker! Ravage them! 
Also, I see. Show me your true form! So, what brings you back here after all these years? That's a comprehensive study on the research you tried to shut down all these years ago. I know how to read. What I meant was, why are you bringing this to me now? Oh, this is just a quick visit out of spite. I wanted to show you in person that I found the concrete evidence you had discontinued my research over. So it appears. I'll admit you've impressed me on that point, at least. But such praise does nothing now. All this discussion is in the past. Why can't you just let it stay there and move on? Ah, uh, no can do, Professor. Cognitive science has made too great an impact on this world to be abandoned like that. W what are you saying? The psychotic breakdown incidents. The sudden changes of heart in adults that the Phantom Thieves claim to make. I'm nearly willing to call these events concrete evidence of cognitive science in action. How about you? Uh. And the one person pulling the strings in the background of this, Congressman Masayo Shishido. He seems to be confessing to all sorts of crimes now that the Phantom Thieves have changed his heart years ago. Shido took notice of my research, stole it away from me and made others develop it for his own gain. Not only that, he used cognitive science somehow to induce the politically motivated psychotic breakdowns. Now, you're heavily involved in that series of events, aren't you? What are... what are you planning on doing with me? Oh, nothing at all. As I said before, I only came here out of spite. That paper, my work, is going to change the world. 
change the world. And where's the money for that? Where's the power to do it? You're no Shido. What can someone like you actually do? That paper there is just the first step. I have learned how to change the cognition of not just an individual, but all of humanity. And I will do it. No matter how long it takes. Yeah, enough of this dribble. Get out of my office and don't show your face here again, hear me? Uh, wh what is this? Hmm? What's your problem now? Huh? You... You don't see this? The sky just... The time has come. This voice... Uh... The time is finally at hand. I am the other you, dwelling in the realm of mankind's hearts. The other... me? Wait, the realm of mankind's hearts? Are you telling me th this realm is... You may have no knowledge of it, but I have been at your side for much longer than our current meeting. Finally, your reality and the sea of hearts from which I came have truly become one in this moment. Now, the time for your unjustly persecuted ideology is at hand. I am thou. Thou art I. That's it. I finally get it. To think it'd be so... <laughs> hey, what are you mumbling about? I told you to get out! Yes. I'll be on my way, finally. Now I can finally... Shido! To think he was the one who stymied Dr. Maruki's research. You know, I've been wondering ever since we saw the earlier video, do you think there was some kind of connection between my mom's cognitive science research and Dr. Maruki's? After he crushed Maruki's chance at researching the field, he had his own pawns do it for him instead. Although I doubt Shido's researchers knew anything about the subject in the way Maruki did. That sounds exactly like the kind of plan that man would scheme up. That bastard! Wait, now's not the time to get pissed about that. There's another thing about that video nobody's mentioned yet. That being that appeared near the end was most likely Maruki's persona. The sky did turn red like that. I wonder if that was the day we fought against the God of Control. Lady Lavenza did tell us that reality and mementos were merged together during that time. As you've all seen for yourselves, a full awakening to a persona can't happen unless you're within the metaverse. That would mean Maruki really did awaken to his persona in that video. And at the same time, he attained the ability to meddle with mementos, the cognition of the masses. So it is just as Lavenza had told us. And the sheer number of coincidences necessary for this to happen is just... At any rate, now we have a better grasp of past events. I'm fairly certain that was a memory Maruki wouldn't want us to have seen either. Yeah! We don't have the time for these questions anyhow. Let's go.
Joker! Yes. Shall we? 